Hello guys. Today we are going to talking about how to we create a model in system dynamics approach. And uh, the type type of the modeling techniques in system dynamics. And so <coughs> if you are using or if you want to create a system dynamics modeling and then mm, there's such modeling techniques in order to create a common form related to the the universe law like the Kirchhoff law or Bernoulli rule or uh, heat exchange rule or something like that the Newton dynamics is uh, one of the example of these things but in this lesson we are gonna talk about creating the analogy modeling okay analogy modeling or models okay and so in the universe there are some specific rules governing the or the ruling the dynamicity of the universe okay and so these kinds of systems or uh, dynamicity represent the specific or different kinds of energy forms which we cannot destroy or create but transfer its internal energy or the another form okay as you know there are two kind of energy in universe kinetic energy or potential energy or which we add we do we need to add the loss energy form in here but whole things related to dynamicity is concerning with these two of this and so these three elements or energy forms can be transferred into the another one and which we have in the result of this transmission and we have the dynamicity of these things okay and so what is dynamicity dynamicity means that relate to the time okay but we are in universe and so if you are saying this system is dynamic or dynamicity and so we understand that the, this system is directly related to or with respect to the time form in the universe modeling techniques okay and so there are some rules in order to cover up full picture of dynamicity can be given by the Newton rules such as F equal to M times A okay and so which means that mechanical system rule is based on the Newton rules okay and so in another way we have the fluid rules which means that the hydraulics or the another system can be interpreted by the Bernoulli equations okay and so we have the another form of these things in the electrical one the Kirchhoff rules and so this directly relates to the electrical system formation okay and so we can also say that we have the heat energy or we can use the Fourier rules in order to create a heat system dynamics modeling and so as we know the dynamicity is based on the time formation and so dynamicity is the transmission of the any kinetical energy into the potential one or the loss energy one and so in the formal definition of the math we can also add or we can also obtain this form of these things the based on the earlier Lagrange equation okay you can search things and you can easily found by using this energy techniques into the earlier Lagrange one okay and so in order to create a, this a dynamic modelings 
And so we need to utilize these rules or these equations in order to create a dynamicity. And so which we can create the analogy models. Okay. And so in the second place, we need to focus on <coughs> what? What is analogy? And so these are titled in here. What is analogy? As you can see, the definition of the analogy means that the emulation or simulation of something. And so the analogy can be imitated or can be used by to transmit the any mechanical rule to another one. And so if we are using the analogy modeling and so we can emulate the any kind of system in one common form, which means that in this lesson we are going to use the mathematics in order to create an analogy modeling. But why is that? And so we have in mechatronics we can have the system including the electrical property or mechanical property like the DC motor dynamics. And so in the DC motor, we have the also the electrical usage of equation. And so the, we also add the mechanical rule of this equation forms in order to run DC motor to the desired position. But how can we consist of or combine these two electrical or mechanical rules into the one form? And so we can use the analogy in order to create common such form. And so if we are represent the whole the electrical and mechanical equation in the maths and so we can use or we can drive the DC motor by using the analogy modeling. Okay? And so how can we transmit the electrical energy or electrical equation or electrical constant into the mechanical one? And so, in the third place, we should focus on to creating of this analogy. And so, if we have the electrical system perspectives, and so we can write down the electrical one, the mechanical one, and so the fluid one. These three is or the are the kind of the energy forms in the universe. And so we have the energy forms related to the some parameters in the electrical or mechanical or the fluid system, like we have in order to drive the system in the electrical simulation or the system's perspective we have the voltage value in order to run this system form into the or create into through the current variable and so in mechanic systems we have the force variable okay in order to drive or the affect the whole this system perspectives or in fluid dynamics especially in both the gas and hydraulic one we have the pressure value in order to activate the whole system variables <coughs> and so this whole three variable voltage value or force or pressure is analog okay to each other because in electrical one we have the voltage value in order to drive the system 
in the mechanic systems we have the force variable and so in the fluid system we have the pressure value and in the analogy technology we can say that these whole these things the across variable okay across variable because and these things is directly related to or the occurs between the ground and the main effect of these things okay and so in the second place in order to represent uh, some kind of energy form in the electrical systems we have the charge value if we apply the voltage value to any kind of electrical system one such as the resistance or inductance or capacitance value the whole electrical system stores the charge value okay and so in mechanic systems if we give the force value to the any system and so we have the position variable in here okay because if we have a ball assume that we have a ball in here and so we can push to the up and so the potential energy is gaining but the kinetic energy is losing and so we gain the position value or we store the position value if we apply the force to this kind of mechanical systems and so what about the fluid system in the fluid system we can also as the mass parameter in order to store the system parameters okay and so as a summary if we apply the voltage or force or pressure value our system or system dynamics models stores the charge position and mass and the each of them is related to its own system modeling like the electrical or mechanical or fluid one and so if you write this variable we can say that this is directly to the storing elements okay and so finally we should write it down as the what about our dynamicity in the system dynamics as we know that the, if we have a mass and we apply the force variable into this mass and then this mass has the velocity which relates to this force or the acceleration parameters but how can we represent these changes in the analogy techniques and so what about the dynamicity dynamicity is the relate to the time parameter and so if we take a derivative to this storing elements like this one dq divided by dt is equal to current value and so this is our true variable which means that if we apply the voltage value to the electrical system and then we can store the charge but if any unbalanced situation and so we have the current value as a balancing equation or the balancing effect on this system but what about the mechanical one and so if we take a derivative of this position and so we have the velocity value in mechanical system and so in the fluid system we have the m divided by dt is equal to m dot fluid rate okay and so this whole things is <coughs> relates to the what true variable in terminology and so this whole picture gives us a analogy modeling techniques because <coughs> if we have a system in mechanical one and then we can convert it into electrical one by using these things and so if we have a force variable applied on the mass parameter and so in the electrical system we can represent as a voltage value okay so, so i'm gonna take an example in here 
but in the now we can say that in summary the across variable directly to across variable is directly to the effector on this system and so this is the input value of our system okay and so the true variables or elements which is the flowing something in our system and so this is the basic rule of preservation of the energy or conservation of the energy okay and so this is our the analogy modeling techniques but how can we create it in the same form or the how can we describe the whole the phenomena let to do these things and so in the next lesson we will talk about the uh, mechanics dynamics and its elements in order to cover up the full picture of these things because in our example session we can create a model the whole model in the electrical simulation but these models also has the mechanical and fluid elements but the common form comes with us by using the analogy techniques and so if we have a mechanical system or fluid system in here and so we can convert to electrical one and then we can obtain the total equation of motion these things by using the this analogy techniques okay